I'm Taryn Sullivan and I work with all the education customers here at Dexter. My main goal is to really listen to educators and try to find out what they need in the classroom. Our background is not in education and so we're really trying to listen to the customers and see what do they think is best and what types of curriculum do they want and how can we improve the hardware. And we take all those suggestions and we try to make improvements the best we can. So we have three main robot kits. We have the GoPygo robot car, which you can attach a lot of different sensors to, like a distance sensor to program it to avoid objects. Um, if you don't have space for a robot to roll around, we have a stationary kit called the Grove Pi. And this comes with lots of different sensors, like sound and light, to make a lot of different fun projects. Uh, if you already have LEGO Mindstorm, we have the Brick Pi. So you just pull out the LEGO Mindstorm brain, that brick, replace it with the Brick Pi, and then you can attach sensors and motors to it and program it in Java, Scratch, Python, and many other languages. We think the benefit of learning to code with robots is that you're seeing your code work in the physical world. You know, if they have an error, it's not just an error on a screen, but it's you know running into a wall and not stopping. All of our kids um, use the Raspberry Pi, this little credit card sized computer developed by a foundation in the UK. You can plug in a USB keyboard and mouse, ethernet so you have internet, uh, an HDMI monitor so you have something to look at, uh, the power of course, and then a little SD card goes here which is basically like the hard drive of the computer. The boards we design actually attach to the Raspberry Pi and that becomes the main brain of the robot. We heard from educators that it was really important to them to have step-by-step -step instructions both for them and for their students. So we did just that by creating really good tutorials with illustrations, worksheets, and even videos online. We're developing all different types of curriculum, some to be used in the classroom to work with different subject matters, um, but also just some fun ones for camps and after school programs um, that are missions that the kids get to accomplish, which gets them really excited. Some of the examples are things like creating a finite state machine, which is a computer science concept but when you do it in the physical world with a robot, it's a lot more fun. In order to program the robots, we really recommend you use a computer, but you can use any kind, a Mac, PC, even a Chromebook. To connect to your robot, it's really easy. You just plug in a Wi-Fi dongle, um, you put in the SD card, and you plug in the power, and um, you go to your computer and look up the Wi-Fi networks that it can find, and you will see the robot broadcasting a little Wi-Fi, you connect to that, then you just open a browser and type in the URL that we give you, and there, you can start programming. So our robots are really versatile, and they can be programmed by second graders in something simple like Scratch, as well as more advanced students can use Python, Java, and C. Something that I really love about working at Dexter Industries is that John, our founder and CEO, he really fosters an environment of innovation and rapid progress. So in the less than two years I've been here, we've already improved each of our robot kits and done a major rehaul on our software. We just really are eager to build the best solution for the customers and we're really listening.